Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Promise Neverland season 2 episode number 1. Okay, uh, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome and I do timer reactions so be sure to like sync the video that you're uh, watching with me and like watch alongside me. So yeah and uh, okay so uh promise neverland i never like i did not do uh, season one because obviously i've already watched it so i'm starting from season two and uh season one my impression of promise neverland was that it was quite an interesting show like uh, i have to say it had the best like uh like the endings of each and every episode were one of the best like i still remember that episode where like norman uh, like try to like uh, see and scout the whole place and like uh, climbed up the rope like that makeshift rope and like stood there then he came back and when he said that it's like there's a big uh, like hole outside and you cannot like climb out of it and like his face that it, as it looked uh, when he was telling uh, like that was one of the episodes that I will never forget like it like built up the ex ex excitement the hope that yeah they're going to like run away no one will be able to like uh, run away from here and uh, he'll probably be okay but ultimately like the whole anime like dropping this kind of a bomb on us just like that in the end and like snatching off all the hope and like uh, like letting us uh, like uh, fall into despair like that was something else and uh, I still remember it like I, I really like that was an experience I have to say and and there were a lot of like uh, moments like this as well and I really like uh, enjoyed the whole mystery thriller uh, thing uh, and uh, yeah it's kind of dark and let's see what happens like uh, in the last episode we saw them uh, running away uh, the uh, like little kids are still with Isabella but I think uh, like Isabella has probably changed and she'll probably look after them properly unless and until like she can be able to do anything uh, obviously she can't be able to, like she won't be able to save them but I'm hoping like Emma will come back to get them before they get like their time comes and um, yeah and Isabella I don't know if like something is going to happen to her because technically she was in charge uh, for that place and uh, the like br like the kids uh, fleeing from there I don't know if the like higher-ups will like post like make some do like do some kind of like punish her or something I don't know like I, I have no idea what was going to happen to her uh, I like uh, I like I, I quite like Isabella because of her like backstory like her story kind of shows us that she was a character who is um like I don't know she is an unfortunate character she's not evil like she's an unfortunate character she because of her own um not cowardice but because of her own like survival instinct that kicked in she like desperately tried to survive even if she had to like turn her head and not look at everything that were happening everything unjust that were happening and i think that makes her unfortunate not evil so yeah and i think she kind of changed after the whole thing so let's see uh, what season one uh, season two brings so this is the first episode of promise neverland uh, so without further ado let's get started all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <coughs> Oh yeah, they're running. I'm guessing we're also going to get the names of these characters. Like we barely saw, saw a few of these characters that we're seeing in season one. Like the only people we properly know are Dawn, Gilda, Ray, and Norm. What the hell is that? What? They're, they've already like run into some monsters what the hell oh the opening i've not like seen the opening let's see how this is oh ho, ho. that monster hand and that human hand 
with flowers and like uh, spider lilies. I get, I'm thinking these are spider lilies, aren't they? Like Higanbana. Oh, what the hell? That's kind of. Oh. No, these are not spider lilies. It's my mistake. It's something else. From the trailer, we saw like we're probably going to lot meet a lot of monsters here. Okay. Oh, look at. Okay, we're like they're showing us the monsters now. Oh, bye. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is a hyped up opening. The right side is uh empty. Now here's one thing, like we have still not seen Norman's dead body and there's one thing that I always uh like think, like I, I, it's it's something that I always like remember that unless and until you see a dead body in an anime, you should not think that he is dead. And I refuse to believe that Norman is dead until and unless we see him lying dead. Oh, what the hell are these? Some weird insects. Oh! Come on. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, raise ears. Hmm. Excuse me. What what happened to Emma? Like Oh <laughs> Oh my god did Okay. What is that? Oh that's water, okay. I think it's something else. Hmm. Why? Oh. Okay. Hmm, no. Like, Isabel was pretty like smart she would have like anticipated everything <laughs> hmm. this time yeah Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah, they also need to re like refill everything. Mm, there's some big trees here. I hope we get some fruits. Southeast. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Okay.
B what the oh wait is this a tracker or GPS kind of thing oh yeah it is kind of a GPS isn't it then Oh, touch me. Excuse me. Okay. Look at mythology. Oh, to decipher the code. Okay. Oh, so page number or something like one eight. Ah, uh, yeah. Second word. Why? The hu human. Oh yeah, second line. Okay, thirteen. Okay. Okay, so we also have uh, like a world map. So hmm. Hmm. Yep. Let's get out of here first. Then. Ooh, what are those? Must be poisonous, or who knows? Okay, what is that? Hmm. Benches of Ungo. Okay. Oh. Wow, that's kind of. Yeah, like no. <laughs> that's handy. Like portable like water bottles in like in the middle of the forest oh yeah it did Minerva really promise Um, okay, yeah, definitely, but I think, um, oh my God, okay. Yeah, these are the like monsters who are looking for them. Oh, ho, ho. damn! These monsters are like have weapons as well. Like, I don't think they need weapons. They're pretty strong looking. So, <laughs> what happened? Someone following them? Uh, yeah, yeah, like it's what the what? 
Oh, something is coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the first scene. <laughs> this is not tag. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. What? Oh, they're splitting off? Yeah, it's splitting. Okay. Okay, that hindered him. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, they also did a lot of like training and everything. Oh, okay. Snakes. Oh. Yeah, we can trap that thing. Yeah. Yeah, like you need to Yeah, you need to like s save her. Mm. Mm. Like I said that Ray should do it but like at least I think he should have like left Emma as a backup. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Wait. Wait, what happened? Oh my god, the real ones are here. That was just a mindless monster, but Thankfully they did not see Oh uh, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. What's the what's Ray doing? <laughs> they have it memorized. Go what? I was un unable to read it. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy, the Yeah, like Emma is a, like a lot like panting and everything. Is something matter the matter with her? Like she seems tired. Like which is extremely unusual for her. Oh no, she fainted, didn't she? Yeah, oh boy, I, I, like, I thought maybe she, oh, blood loss. Did it get infected or somehow? Like, they just, like, like, cut off their ears, like, there was no... Uh, is this the monster that we saw in the like um poster yeah i think so
Oh, <laughs> yeah, that that was good thinking, Ray. Like he used the smell in the muffler to a scarf. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh no, he is trapped. Oh my god. Oh no, what now? Oh my god, he's surrounded. What? What? Wait, wait, what? Someone got him. Th is that a horse? Oh! Yeah, the smell. Oh, that's a cool looking plant. Excuse me. Oh, okay. They're in the same place. Okay. Also, that horse riding guy, he that means he and that like uh, girl are connected. different locations yeah but they came in the same place uh, I don't think so I'm not sure it might be Minerva but I don't think would the real would the anime really show him so early? Okay. Oh yeah, this is that girl. Okay, who are you? Okay. Okay, is this a uh, like a monster or a human? Sonju. What? What is something the matter? Yeah, like I, I kind of understood that that's a monster, like demon. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's the horse riding guy.
Um, I think these guys are allies. I don't know. I think so. Like, just think about it. Yeah, obviously the ending is showing them, so I'm guessing they're allies. Um, like, just think about it. Uh, this is like a whole thing with like kids only and monsters, demons outside. So they'll need someone who they could like turn for help. And I'm like, m some monsters being on their side is kind of, um, I don't know, it's something that I kind of expected. Because obviously like, uh, not all like demons will be the same. There will be some exceptions. And I'm guessing these are like the same exception. Oh boy, this song is nice. Okay, so there are only two of them we can see like this girl and the guy riding the horse okay it's the end all right so uh, that was episode number one of uh promise neverland season two now uh it started off in uh quite uh like what can i say like the way it progressed uh the demons kind of like finding them uh, so quickly I did not expect that because obviously it's barely the start. I thought maybe they're like going to run around for one episode at least and then they would probably be found out. But in the first episode, uh, like they were almost caught. And in the first episode only we got to see uh, this uh, new characters, two of them, uh, these uh, demons who are helping humans, I'm guessing. And yeah, so obviously like they are alone in this outside world where they know nothing and about anything so i was thinking like uh they must like run into some demons who would probably help them and it turns out the first people like not people the first characters that they meet after like uh bursting out of the uh, like orphanage are these people like those demons who would help them and yeah like that is uh, quite promising because obviously uh, they were kind of uh, they knew nothing about the outside world these people uh, these demons uh, they i'm guessing they like they are like uh, living outside the walls so i'm sure they knows everything or a few, at least a few things about the outside world what's happening and what like how did this like what is the backstory of this whole world they must know something about it because that is one thing that we also don't know as audiences that what is the actual like backstory of the world that they're living in how did these demons come about uh, like why are like these demons like uh, controlling everything and why are they at the top like govern and kind of like uh, leading the place why like what happened are there some kind of uh, I don't know, uh, people who are rebelling against them, like they, like in these type of scenarios, usually there are people who kind of rebel against them and kind of vigilante forces or like uh, who like uh, go against them, fight against them. So is there something like that happening in the outside world or is it just like these demons are the only one who are like controlling pe people, normal humans are like, and they're like, tr they are like treating them as slaves and everything, uh, who knows so like these are the questions that like i have i'm sure a lot of you also have and um i'm guessing we're going to like learn a lot about that uh, in this season because season one was uh, about the orphanage like the orphanage was like a uh, um like a closed space where they were like living and like nothing outside the orphanage we knew nothing about it only the things that are happening in the orphanage now that they have like like they are out of the orphanage i'm sure we're going to learn a lot about the outside world what is actually happening how did this happen like uh demons controlling uh, humans and like making like these kind of orphanages where they uh are like um, 
like uh, uh it's kind of like i feel weird about saying this but cultivating people like small children to like eat them later on so yeah and okay and what else and this minerva and i don't know uh by the like looks of it i'm i think we'll probably get to meet minerva a lot later in the story uh, i think almost at the end because usually that that is what actually happens like the person who is like shrouded in mystery like this is usually thrown at the almost at the end of the story so only thing that we know is this minerva is helping them mm, to get out and um yeah like that's it and <clears throat> now here's the thing like one thing i really don't know like not know like i don't like understand is like isabella was pretty damn smart and i'm sure she also like i went into the library uh saw the books so why did she not notice the morse codes like i'm sure if she like looked at it she would have understood it just like that because isabella was pretty like extremely intelligent so like like the only one answer we like i think that is that i think uh can be applied here is that isabella never went to the library or something or like did not look at the books like that's the only answer i think is uh, applicable here because otherwise if she like went into the library like the others i'm sure she like some like sometimes the, her like eyes would have wandered there and uh, she would have like saw that like book and like uh, caught the morse code so who knows or maybe she knew about it and did not no i don't think she did that because obviously she was she wanted to stop the children from running away so i think she never noticed it or something who knows because the children noticed it uh, like at least like ray noticed it ray, ray norman all of them and so i doubt like uh isabella wouldn't have noticed like i, I doubt Is isabella would have like uh not noticed it because isabella is also I i'm hoping i think like isabella is also extremely intelligent like we saw yeah like isabella was intelligent uh from all of the things the backstories we've seen, seen so the only answer here that is i can think about is like she never noticed the books or something like that anyways that is something completely different and um okay so uh another thing that uh, ray did here like he like did something in that tree what did he like write there just a sec i did I, it was uh, okay there it is just a sec just a sec um okay uh go go what go as no what is that i cannot read it properly 32 pursuer go what is the next word i cannot read it what is this like it's the first word is go then there's what is that and then there's like small hyphen then 32 pursuer Go as is that a s s go as thirty two pursuer I don't know so what was that about why did he suddenly like write that uh -huh. uh, I don't know like I thought uh, like he wrote that because uh, he wanted like Emma and the others to come there and like take a notice of that. And understand what actually I, I think that was also that he wanted to do like he like suddenly like he wrote that because he probably wanted to warn Emma like he at that time he did not know that Emma also like Emma and like the other children also were like taken by this demon like uh, who is friendly so I'm guessing he wrote that uh, in hope that uh, Emma and the others will see that and understand that yeah Ray has fallen into some kind of a problem and uh like w like act accordingly so i think that was the reason why she, he did that and um, 
And also we got to see the demons properly this episode, kind of. Uh, they have this kind of a weird mask with like red, I don't know what those are, like eyes I think, who knows, uh, those red things and uh, a few of them are like dogs like they like run on four legs they can talk as well and they have huge like heightened smell they can smell people and there are like the other like monsters who are like uh, this who like walk on two legs and like carry weapons and everything yeah and uh, we also i think the, the horse the horse or the horse uh, the guy was like riding it's also kind of weird like uh <laughs> like i don't think that's a normal horse just a sec let me see it again uh yeah this horse yeah this that's also a weird looking horse so i'm thinking that's a monster horse like a demon horse who knows like i think so and um so Yeah, and then they took him, uh, him and the other children to this, uh, their place or their hideout, I'm guessing. And uh, I don't know what they actually want, uh, like with them. And like, I cannot guess anything because obviously, like, they must have some kind of uh, an agenda. Otherwise, why would they like take them with them? Or maybe like this girl, she just wanted to help them. Who knows? Like, uh, I cannot still say anything about them unless and until the next episode because we barely got to see them this episode and we know nothing about their personality, how they are. So I'm guessing in the next episode, we'll probably get to like see that how they are actually like how they are actually. And after that, we'll probably be able to predict a lot of things as to how they are going to react to different stuff. And like, are they really friends or are they like kind of, uh, like have a, have an agenda and that's the reason why they're saving them like all these questions i'm sure we'll get that in the next episode and yeah that was it uh nothing much happened this episode and uh, this was very, like just the first episode and we saw them like uh kind of walking around this forest and yeah that was it like yeah, like, it seems as if, like, we barely got to see anything this episode. Like, it was just them, like, walking around, then, like, they kind of, uh, like, uh, got trapped. And uh, Emma and uh, Ray kind of helped them to escape. And Ray took, uh, like, worked as a, like, decoy and saved Emma, but kind of got trapped in that process. And these uh, new characters came in and saved them. So yeah, that was this episode. Uh, like, uh, I have a few things also to uh, like more to talk about. Uh, that is um, the thing with Norman. Now I, I said this before in the beginning. Um, I, I I I'm just like this is something that I think. Um, now in season one, Norman we saw like the end of Norman is shown as if. He like uh, Isabella takes him to uh, like takes him to a place, and like says like I think Isabella said something about like I have something to do and like you go in there something and Norman I think opened a door. That was it. We saw nothing about like after that what happened and everything. That is extremely suspicious. Now I hope I really hope that Norman survived because as I said unless and until we see a character dead body i refuse to believe that he is dead that is something that i've learned from an anime and for like from watching anime for so long i've learned this that unless and until you see a character like just like laying down there die like uh, in, in his or her death and just lying down there lifelessly uh, that's the only time you should believe that yeah this guy is gone and he won't come back but sometimes uh, like mysteriously they are also like brought back to life like that's something else completely but uh, usually <clears throat> that's the case so like the way they kind of like ended Norman's scene in season one uh, i think that even if he is not okay like maybe he is in some kind of trouble maybe he is injured or something but I think he's not at least dead. We will probably get to see Norman again. And another thing that kind of like made me a lot more suspicious in this season 
is the opening like like you see like in the end of the opening uh there's this mr like like in the middle and the left there's ray the right side is empty now <laughs> like here's the thing that anime does a lot of times like they introduce new characters uh, as the anime like uh progresses for example uh, i've seen like uh, i think it was uh, i still remember that i think it was nisekoi opening where they like use silhouettes of characters in the opening in the first episode and as we got to meet new characters all of the characters the silhouettes were like filled after each and every episodes and as we got to meet the new characters their like characters also were shown in the opening i think maybe if norman is alive and if we get to see norman in this season if he comes back alive i think that right side will be filled up by norman I think that's what's going to happen. Like uh, season one kind of made me suspicious about that whole thing about Norman being alive or dead, this whole kind of situation, and they're also them also not showing us actually what happened to Norman also like made my suspicions uh, more, and the opening of the season like heightened my suspicions even more. Like or who knows, uh, maybe that right side is for someone else. I don't even want to think about it. Like maybe it's not for Norman. Maybe it's for someone, some new character that's probably going to come later on, who are probably going to join them. Uh, that's one thing to think about. <laughs> I don't know. Like, <laughs> um, who knows? We'll see. Um, but I, I still think that uh, maybe Norman is alive. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, let's see. I, I I at least think Norman is alive because uh, I've, uh, because the way they like kind of uh, did not show us what happened to him that, that is like extremely suspicious and I think he's alive and we'll probably get to see him later on not in this season if there is another season later on uh, I'm sure like then we'll get to see him or something or we'll at least know what actually happened to Norman like uh, even if he's dead I think we'll probably get to see what actually happened after that in the like later episodes or like further down the seasons who knows anyways uh, that's it that's it guys uh, this was um, episode number one of promise neverland season two uh, that was a good start and it kind of uh, like made, I introduced new some new characters and everything and uh, not some new characters two new characters and a lot of demons <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm guessing they'll um, like they'll get help from an unexpected uh, place, like from an unexpected people, like uh, like uh, someone they didn't even expect uh, getting help from. That is the demons themselves. So yeah, I look forward to like what they're going to do later on, like how they're going to like um, like take all of this, like demons helping humans. Like they're extremely scared of demons like we know that like like when like ray understood that demons like the girl was a demon he just stopped and looked so like his like faces were extremely contorted uh, like like scrunched up uh sweat was like pouring and when emma realized he she also like abruptly stopped and her face became kind of uh so yeah like there's this thing about uh kind of a traumatic experience for them so yeah let's see how they, they actually take the whole situation so yeah so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel if you haven't subscribed and comment down below your opinion about province neverland anything you want to say i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys um i'll be back uh with a new episode of promise neverland uh, next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day